Hey guys, how you doing? Well, quick intro introduction. Uh, my name is Faisal, and I um, I work as a consultant for a bank in London. Uh, been working for fifteen years plus. Now I'm going through this phase where I want to buy a luxury watch, a mechanical automatic automatic luxury watch. Um, currently I own a Quartz, uh, it's a Seconda, so let me show you guys, Seconda Quartz, it's a nice watch, um, the bracelet is very comfortable, uh, it's a little chunky, at least for my wrist, um, so I've come to that stage in life where I just want to spend, uh, on a good luxury watch that I can keep for life. Um, now, I've got a few options here. I've got the, uh, of, of, of course, I've got the Rolex in mind. Um, I've also looked at a few um, Bateks and um, Bigays. Um, I have to admit, uh, Royal Oak Bigay is currently my favorite it's high on the list but it's expensive it is expensive and very difficult to get um, I wrote to a few uh, wrote to a few authorized dealers here in London um, asking if I if I can finance one of them and they basically said you know they don't they don't allow financing uh, a big a uh, and the reason that they gave me, I'll just read this out to you guys, is they said um, watches like these are hard to come by. Yes, that's true. Um, financing them devalues um, the product as a brand has a status image to uphold. And it reduces the margins. Uh, profit margins and he says you know we can sell a hundred times over without finance so basically he's saying they don't have to finance these watches because people buy them they probably get four or five watches a year um, and they get sold very quickly so there's no need for them to finance these uh, as opposed to other brands um, who do allow finance financing their watches um, so yeah I guess in a way they're sort of commanding that position you know difficult to get a hold of so there's more demand than supply so hence they can you know um, ask for those you know very unreasonable prices um, because they command that position um, same goes for Patek although I did speak to a dealer in London and he said I can finance a Pathek but they're just so damn expensive just cannot afford them Patheks are nice nice watches uh, more classy dressy uh, and I'm so sort of looking for a sporty uh, watch rather than a dress watch so obviously Rolex is uh, you know uh, is, is on the list um, Submariner no date is probably my favorite um, Explorer one. I like those a lot um, Don't like Daytona's um, Maybe a sub date with date, but they are quite expensive um, Waiting list for Rolex watches is crazy 12 months to five years, which is just crazy um, So I've got no choice, but I have to you know look at the pre-owned market and there's several several companies who are selling pre-owned rolex watches um, and they're asking for a lot of cash unfortunately um, so you can finance them but then you know you've got to pay that interest and it's um, you know in the long run you know you've you've paid a lot more than what these are worth so then again, you know, Rolex hold their value, so you won't lose much, I guess. At least that's what I'm telling myself. 
trying to convince myself that I can or I should get one uh, <clears throat> or I could possibly take the vintage route um, go for a <clears throat> vintage watch but then you know what about the movement I mean the, these are all watches so is the movement going to be good enough is it gonna keep good time you know um servicing is that gonna be quite costly there are many um sellers out there who are selling vintage watches not ebay i'm talking about specialist sellers so <clears throat> spoke to christian at theon harris for a while i was trying to negotiate with him um you know and christian was very very helpful he did offer me a nice price for a watch that i i did like but then um, <clears throat> i found out that if you import a watch from the u.s you know you've got to pay the import duty which is 20 percent i think and that's just going to kill it there's no point uh, you know importing from the u.s um same for hodinki i did speak to them f you know a few few watches that they were selling which i liked but then again you know 20% VAT on these watches is just not worth it. So, you know, I'm going to stick with, you know, companies who are selling inside the UK, within the UK. Um, there's a very nice gentleman called Chris at Sonning Vintage Watches. He's, he has nice pieces, nice vintage pieces. Prices are okay, reasonable, but then, you know, they are old watches, so... I'm sort of, I'm a little scared that, you know, if I go for a vintage piece that I might end up with something that will require servicing or it just, the movement's going to be too old, rusty, you know, I'm just going to end up with a bad watch and that's what I don't want. So, you know, I'm considering watches that are, you know, no more than five years old something like that um there are a few decent explorer ones out there um it's a perfect size by the way explorer ones 36 millimeters is just perfect at least for my wrist um but the explorer ones are quite old uh nice watches so really like them um and then you have the explorer twos uh is it 39 millimeter but I think Lock to Lock it's is quite big. So I think it's as big as this Seconda that I have. Um, so I am looking for something that's you know a little less chunky, you know not too heavy, and a smaller case size. Uh, I have considered other brands, um, but I don't know why. I just don't like them for some reason. Omegas, don't like them, Panerai's, no, Seiko's, definitely not, um, Tags, don't like them, Longines, um, Hublot, don't like them, I just don't, I don't know why, I just don't like the look of them, uh, Cartier's, um, I did look at a, <clears throat> I went to the showroom in London, watches, I went to watches Switzerland and they were selling uh, JLC's um, Reverso they're nice yeah, I like them but um, you know it's not your typical shape you know it's square it's small so it doesn't really suit um, a lot of people I think um, I tried it on the wrist I didn't really like it that much but it, you know it's a luxury brand you know and it's it's an old brand so well known you know it's one of the best um, Vacheron, Constantine, very expensive, and I don't like them. I don't like their um, their models. Just yeah, not not my not my thing. Um, Royal Oak has to be my, my favorite. Um, Big A Royal Oaks, just beautiful, beautiful watches, but then expensive and very hard to get a hold of, and they don't allow financing. So I don't just don't have the cash really to spend on a watch you know 15 grand watch um there are some old pre-owned big a's out there but commanding a lot of money 
I don't think they're worth that much for a 20 year old watch, you know. Um, Pateks are nice. I like Calatrava's, you know, dressy, not very, not that sporty, so mm, maybe, maybe not. But then, you know, nothing less than 10 grand, so, you know, probably can't even afford them anyway. So that just leaves um, Rolex, really. Uh, and I just cannot decide well. One, I, you know, I cannot decide which model to get. Um, and two, should I get an automatic mechanical watch? Should I or should I not? I just stay with the Seconda Quartz, you know, watches basically tell time, you know, nothing more. Unless, unless you get an Apple watch, which it is very functional, no doubt about it. Very functional, very useful, you know. You can check your heartbeat, you know, all those exercise related apps, uh, get all your notifications on the wrist, very handy. But then the thing I don't like about smartwatches is you will charge them every night and I hate that. I did own an Apple watch, I think that was number two and I sold it almost immediately. I think after a week I was just fed up of charging it every night. Um, so, but they are, you know, cheap uh, and they do more. So not just a watch, so, you know, it's more than, more than that. So I am considering it, but you know, you guys tell me, <clears throat> what do you think? Should I go for an Apple watch or save up and go for a Rolex or you know push it a bit more and just go for a Royal Oak it's beautiful just love them um, yeah I just can't decide if you guys own a luxury watch please do tell is it a good idea is it a bad idea if you are <clears throat> looking to sell you know please get in touch you know if I can afford it and if it's in a good condition I might consider buying it but you have to be in London obviously or in the UK <clears throat> but yeah please share your thoughts I just can't decide it's crazy Anna but I need to know because uh, I'm just obsessed at the moment and it's taken over, or taken over my life you know I'm just constantly browsing on the net when I'm going to work commuting to work I'm on the train and just constantly looking at uh, you know pre-owned watches new arrivals on watch finder or some other websites so really you know i need to decide you know should i get one or just forget about it just keep the seconda quartz and just live with it and be happy or should i get an apple watch instead a smart watch um yeah do tell me in your comments I'd love to hear your thoughts on it please and if I do end up buying one obviously I'll post a video and share that with you guys so uh, yeah I hope to hear from you guys soon any potential sellers or enthusiasts who know about watches you know I'd like to hear from you so uh, until then uh, this is me signing off. My name is Faisal and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.